think you're ready for this trip. Um, are y'all ready for this tour? All right, you guys. So I am staying at the Renaissance Cancun Resort and Marina. So this is the front door. So when you first walk in, I already unpacked my stuff. So here's my clothes for the week. Quick little glimpse. There's a little wardrobe thing in here, but it's mostly just shelf. It's all just shelf. So I got some shoes, some heels, some shoes for water shoes for excursions, some sandals. Does come with the iron board and the iron. I probably won't be using that. <laughs> Close that right on up. Over here, more shelves. I just got my purses lined up because you know your girl about to have a purse for every outfit. This is going to be my main purse though, just so I can bring like my tripod, tripod with me. Some more purses. Their little coffee and drink little station or whatever. Mini fridge is right here, but they did not give me a thing. But anyways, I got my two little waters in there, but yeah, they didn't give me any anything in my mini fridge <laughs> um in here I just got the safe i got my passport in here this is just the box that's holding this for my tripod little bag that also has stuff for my tripod so there's a quick little glance of the little hallway before we get into the room do you want to show the bathroom so the bathroom is actually hidden behind this slide door just look at that all right gonna start with this lovely shower like baby you cannot tell me anything look at that look at that marble print it's the marble for me it's the glass doors for me just opens up has the waterfall shower head what was that one just so freaking beautiful all right getting into the mirror as well as it does have a little vanity mirror there go me, you guys. Oh, what's up? The light's kind of blinding you. I'm sorry. There we go. But yes, here's the bathroom. All right, took my stuff out. Like I said, I done organized. There's the toilet in the corner. Tissue. You got a scale in there, but we ain't gonna weigh ourselves on vacation. Which I don't weigh myself anyways. Here's the other side of that shower, that marble print. Like, come on. Won't he do it? Here's the king size bed. I already done put my silk pillowcase on it because you know, little work desk area. I really don't care about that part that much. Just gonna stand up here. Let's get a nice overview. Let's get into this light detail at the top. The nice little d decorations on the wall as well. These do come out as well. I just got my sleep clothes, my cover up shorts, my birthday robe, cause it's my birthday. And my swimsuits in there. I think that's the ice bucket right there. Nice big old screen TV mounted on the wall. Little sofa over here, little nightstand, as well as there is a little nightstand over there. Little sofa, marble print table, full body mirror, baby. You already know what the vibes is and y'all ready for the best part oh i got my ring light too because your girl's about to be flicking up her pictures look at this view baby oh one quick thing look at this extra decor lighting but look at this view y'all like i'm about to go get on this yacht 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 however you pronounce it y'all so i'm on the corner room room 1101 so i have the biggest balcony that there's that so my balcony wraps all the way around this corner y'all so you already know these pictures these boomerangs are about to be sneaky not really much going on over here just the top of some buildings construction going on oh i didn't even realize that over there nice little city view as well as this is called the marina view so this big old body of water also this hotel is attached to the mall y'all like literally attached to the mall good bit of restaurants over there and stores it looks really nice in the mall too i'll probably post about that as well but look at this view y'all soak in this view i'm gonna 
tilt it. There's the pool down there. Ooh, I'm gonna have to cut him out. Do you say nigga? <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the view. What's up, YouTube? So I'm back to dine at one of the restaurants at the hotel. I believe it's called Kajal. K-A-A-J-A-L. That's the name of it. And I'll show you my food in a little while. But y'all, look at this scenery, like. Convenient. <laughs> All right, y'all, food is looking good. Look at this. Something simple for my first night. So I got the steak taco and then two shrimp tacos. And then I also ordered a dessert. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Hey y'all, just wanted to get up here and wrap up day one in Cancun, solo dolo, 25th birthday. Okay, all right, so. Literally the plane ride kind of wears you out. So I didn't do too much today, but I still did a little something, something. So after I got here, um, so my phone service doesn't have a international service or whatever. So I had to go find a 7-Eleven, but the one that's here is called OXXO or OXO. 
something like oh I have no clue okay so I had to go there which this hotel y'all this hotel is connected to the freaking mall like how convenient is that so I just went in there got lost a little bit for a little while but I found a way like I found the place and then after I left out the place, I couldn't figure out where I came from. So I was in there a little lost for a second, but got past that. Now I got service out here. I got a Mexico number, five two something, 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 something number or whatever. Calling my people back home with that number. They're like, girl, well, let's go answer the phone with that 5299 number. Like, y'all better pick up for me. But anyways, after I got that situated, I unpacked all my stuff, as you can see in the background. Like, your girl basically lives here. But, um, anyways, unpacked all my stuff, went down to the pool as well as the little jacuzzi. So, there's a pool and a jacuzzi connected to each other. Loved it. Very peaceful. Lovely view. Is to die for, almost. After that, came back up here, showered in this lovely shower with the waterfall faucets. Went downstairs because they got two or three restaurants in here. So the restaurant I went to was called Kajal. K-A-A-J-A-A-L. Yeah, food was bomb. TMI, but it kind of messed up my stomach a little bit. <laughs> but um, anyways, it was good. The shrimp tacos was good. I ordered the tamashi. I really didn't know what that was, y'all, and I don't like it because it tastes like coffee and I don't drink coffee, so that was a waste right there, but who cares? I'm not on a budget here. I'm just doing me, basically, so that wraps up the day. It's like 11 o'clock at night right now. Out to get ready for bed. You see I'm in my little night jammies. Like, listen, when I tell y'all I got outfits for days, I literally got outfits for days, day and night, even to bed. Like, don't even play with me. It's my birthday weekend, 21 out here, period. But anyways, going to bed, have to get up early. Um, I have an excursion, <laughs> excursion. The ATV zip line in Cenote at 9.30 in the morning. They're gonna be picking me up though around 30 maybe I think that's what they said so I'm gonna try to get up a little early to get a little breakfast or something a little snack maybe yeah there's a a bar downstairs it's like a snack bar it's called a Zeke bar Z-E-K bar so I'll probably go downstairs and grab something real quick and simple and be on my way for that stay tuned for that so the first two days I'm gonna put together is in part one because day one you don't really do much so Day one and day two can go together, and then probably day three and day four is going to go together. So be out on the lookout for all of these, y'all. But yeah, stay tuned. Good morning, beautiful people. Day two of Cancun for my 25th birthday. Um, it's early in the morning, like 6.30. And girl barely got any sleep last night because, like, who sleeps on vacation? No, yeah, who sleeps on vacation? So I got up at, like, 4 something, scrolling through my little pictures to see what I want to post. You already know. But, um, got excursions booked for today. ATV, Zipline, and Cenote. So I'm going to try to record what I can, but I know you can't record the ATV and the zip lining. So, yeah, I'll show you my fit after I get dressed and showered and everything. So stay tuned for that. This is my first vlog, y'all. So I'm gonna try to make it not too long, but I know sometimes you gotta you gotta talk and you gotta show people. But anyways, stay tuned, y'all, and I'll see you soon. All right, y'all. This is my outfit for my excursions. I just got my hair pulled back into a ponytail, Mrs. Ponytail. If you know where that's from, we friends subscribe. Um, outfit came from Fashion Nova. I had to go back and look at the picture of how this top went because, baby, in the back. Oh, it's twisted. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, there we go. That's the back of it. It's a two-piece matching set. Here go the shorts. And then I just got on my Nike Air Maxes some Nike socks. Alright, so these are the items that I'm bringing to because people never explain what they bring there. So I got my little tote bag. Make sure to bring a towel. There's my swimsuit. Came from Shein. Got some water shoes. Literally all got these for $5 at Five and Below. 
was gonna order some from Amazon, but the sale, the little coupon code uh, expired before I could get to it. And they went back up to 30, so I was like, no. But um, brought this extra outfit just in case after the cenote, so I can have something else to put on. It's just a little romper from Shein. Got my sunscreen, bug spray, got some lotion as well. Got my portable charger, this thing heavy, heavy duty. Got my glasses just in case, like, you never know if something might happen to, like, your contact lenses, something get in it, and you have to take them out. And y'all, listen, when I tell y'all I can't see without my contacts, so yeah, got my glasses, got my contact lens case as well as some solution. Got my wallet, make sure to bring cash with you. I'm bringing pesos and USD. Yes, girl, I'm not broke, I'm pretty rich. So that's all of the items I am bringing with me. Just wanted to jump back on here because I forgot to mention that I am bringing a waterproof phone case to use in the cenote. Got my portable fan just in case it does get too hot. Of course, I got my mask. And I did bring some flip-flops even though they said not to bring like flip-flops to, to the actual excursions. But like after I change out, I probably put these flip-flops on. So. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. got here yesterday. Oh, okay. The airplane ride was a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too bad though. Mm -hmm. Well, hope you, you know, try to go out with this experience and enjoy your time. Mm -hmm. So tell me how I ripped my pants. <laughs> Y'all, them excursions and Fashion Nova, it just ain't let me. <laughs> so I knew I was pushing it when I bought this outfit because, listen, I'm kind of in denial about being not being a extra small no more. So they didn't have any more sizes. Like extra small was the only one they had, y'all. And I was like, I really wanted this outfit to wear for my excursions or whatever. And boom, pop goes the weasel. It was still cute. But yeah, maybe you might get that sewn up or it's just going to be one of those hit it and quit it outfits. <laughs> back to my excursions um definitely like the zip line the best even though like it wasn't that high in the air like when i went to virginia beach and did the zip line it was much higher there i want to say they had like once it was 40 feet this one wasn't that high but i still had fun so that was definitely number one next was the cenotes it was okay i didn't do that uh y'all couldn't do that dive in your girl your girl can't swim so I won't trust in that life jacket. And there wasn't like somebody in the water constantly to help you other than like other members of the group. And I'm like, it's not y'all's job to save me. So y'all probably aren't gonna save me. So <laughs> didn't do that, but I did get in the water like all the way, but I was holding on tight to that rope. I was basically holding my body up y'all because <laughs> your girl ain't trying to do that. Um, The ATVs, honestly, I didn't like it. It was really rough. Like it was hard driving that thing. I almost hit a tree one time my thing stopped moving at one time it wouldn't go over a rock and I tried to force it over then I cut my little thumb little skin came off yeah I wasn't really feeling the ATVs I was ready for it to be over with for the ATVs and it just kept going and going and going <laughs> there's no stopping but um other than that it was fun um met some nice people in the group socialized I mean it's me <laughs> I'm not gonna just be quiet the whole time. So did socialize with them. 
um i think i'm just gonna relax right now i'm gonna take a shower i might go downstairs to the pool yeah i might go downstairs to the pool for a little while and then go out to eat somewhere i think i'm actually gonna go off the little resort area this time and actually go to an actual place and get dressed up and whatnot but yeah stay tuned for that um i will be posting some like videos and of the cenote as well as like me just walking with the tour guide in there but i didn't have my phone with me on the atvs or zip line and so i'll post the pictures though because they came out nice <laughs> i must say but yeah see y'all in my next video all right y'all getting ready to go to a restaurant one that's actually not like a part of this hotel it's called rosa negra it's six something now six four it's not about to stop and take pictures or whatever my reservation is at 8 30 i want to get there at like 8 15. we're in a pretty little thing set it's actually shorts and top and i kind of tied it together because i didn't like how it looked without it being tied but yeah this is my face ain't really much to it but I'll show y'all the shoes and the full outfit together in a second. solo dola ahead ahead so i went out to the restaurant and of course the restaurant that i wanted to go to was like 20 minutes away so i that mess is burning so the ride was 20 minutes so i had to take a taxi or whatever got out he took me over there ate my food whatever and then as we was coming back since it's like nighttime i'm like let me pull up on this gps real quick just to make sure because gotta take all the precautions or whatever i turned my volume all the way down i turned the phone down to silence and then i typed in the the address to my hotel and then so here goes siri starting route to bit bit what do you think i turned your volume down for hmm? <laughs> i cannot bro i swear <laughs> so i heard the saying about not drinking the water in mexico I don't know why, but I, that's what I've been hearing or whatever. So I haven't been drinking the water, but like, it seems like the food had been messing like with my stomach. Like I was eating and I was like, ain't no way I'm full this early. I only had like a third of my burger at the restaurant. And I'm like, why is my stomach like bloating up and hurting? So I know they cook the food probably with that water or whatever. So I just want to point that out. Cause every time I'm eating, eating every time i've ate my stomach be on 20 out of 10 and not even like tmi but not even like going to the bathroom but it just be hurting 
and I don't like feeling that hurt all the time, like every day. So I took the charcoal pills the first night it happened and I don't think it helped me. And I don't wanna take it today if it's not gonna help me. So, what do I do? <laughs> but yeah, pro tip, the food might mess up your stomach, like anything, like the simplest stuff. But yeah. All right, y'all, I'm about to cut this video, but it's almost your girl's birthday. It is like 10, it's almost 11. It's almost 11 p.m. here, so it's almost my birthday in the U.S. Cause it's like, I wanna say it's like 10 40, so it's basically my birthday. <laughs> so stay tuned for part two, cause I'm gonna cut this video right here. Cause it's gonna show day one as well as day two and then part two is gonna show day three and day four and there's nothing to show on day five because i'm going back home you know but all right stay tuned for that you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please subscribe like comment share with your friends we can be friends do this every weekend you already know yes see y'all next time